what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A number of people keep telling me to not report on Cardi B. Let her be, don't say anything about it. Perhaps she'll go away. Well, she's not going to go away. The reason why I continue to report on her and anybody who has a large platform who I feel especially is abusing their platform is because of the number of people that they reach. It's important that all of us be responsible with our platforms no matter how small or big. We can't afford to put erroneous information out there, especially about something as serious as this virus, because doing so can get people killed. My sentiments were backed up by Idris Elba's sentiments in a video where he clapped back at Cardi for saying that she believes that these celebrities are being paid to say they have the coronavirus. Idris said, why would somebody like me do something like that? It's stupid for somebody to spread that type of information. It's stupid. He used a new word, test shaming. Remember when I was talking about this the other day, I was saying, Anything you do is shaming. If you got fat shaming, you got um, car shaming, <laughs> you got skinny shaming, everything is shaming if you don't like something, you don't agree with something. But yeah, he used the term test shaming. And Cardi B actually said that it was like, uh, it reminded her of, what did she say? A, a fat, fat tummy tea commercial. She believes that the celebrities are out here lying. Family, it's sad that it's going to take for a lot of people to either get it themselves before they understand the seriousness of this uh, virus or it's going to take somebody close to them, somebody that they know personally to get it and die. Because getting sick enough, I mean, getting sick ain't going to even be enough. Cardi was like, well, you know, they're not even showing symptoms. They've already said that you cannot show symptoms and have the virus. They've also said that you cannot show symptoms and die. So I just don't understand. This is something we've never seen before, so I can understand the skepticism. But man... I'd like to err on the side of caution. I'm like the mob in these type of situations, man. Why take a chance? So, Cardi has a huge platform. You know the old saying, to much is given, much is required. So, because she has so many millions of followers and so many millions of impressionable people who are not just checking out her page for entertainment. Some people are listening to her every word, holding on to her every word, watching her every movement and trying to emulate it. So it is important to provide that balance so that people know that everybody don't think like that. And also, so that they'll know to not be misguided and to think for themselves and to do their own research and not just take her word. Hell, don't even take my word. I tell people all the time, do your own research. I'm not giving advice. I'm giving perception. You can take it or leave it. It's up to you. But if I were you, I would be cautious. I would err on the side of caution. I wouldn't take any chances. You only got one life to live. Don't blow it. No more talk. What the talking about?